So I want to first say thank you so much to all of you that have supported me, whether through prayer, financially, just watching these videos. I know there's a specific subset of you that have been core listeners, core followers. And this is not something that's focused on me, but rather this whole journey, whether it's current events, whether it's how God is working in my life, or your life, whatever it is, we've been going through this together. And one day I hope to speak to all of you in heaven and it will be a great celebration. And I, this channel has always been about transparency, about openness, and you're seeing a journey through a brother, just speaking like brother to brother or brother to sister, and it's a community in some sense. And I'm doing this video today to talk to those core listeners and those core followers because I know that you guys, despite whatever type of video is being put out there, that you guys can really help and support me. And so I want to ask for some big favors today. I also want to give you guys some big updates because what's coming personally for me and how it relates to you know the world and things that are happening, it's going to be very big. And this is not clickbait. This is not a clickbait title. I'm really trying to give you guys my honest, open admission of certain things. And I have to be very careful how I say it because... Uh, more more things are coming. And so um, I've recently said that it's been very difficult for me. I'm going through one of the hardest uh, trials and tribulations that I've probably ever gone through. And it's being done appropriately for my sake and also for everything that I'm doing that's affecting me around me and also for what's coming into the future because I'm not going to be ready unless God prepares me and God sanctifies me and trains me up for this next step. I've been praying for big things and with big, you know, prayers, big responsibility comes this uh, character that is needed to fulfill those shoes. And so if I want to impact the world, if I want this channel, my listeners to grow, if I want a bigger stewardship, I need to be in a better position. And so I've been seeking the Lord hard this week or the last couple of weeks rather. I've fasted the longest I've ever fasted. I've been waking up early to try to spend solid, quiet time with him in prayer for long periods of time. Uh, it would be better to be longer, to be honest, but I have, you know, the morning routine, I have different things I do. I've been trying to keep up with my health. I've been getting into the word deep and just for longer stretches just to really be hungry for him. And it reminds me of times where, you know, as you've maybe heard in certain parts of my testimony that when I went through difficult times, I sought the Lord hard. And I remember those times, my first love, through times of relational, financial, you know, career difficulty, those times, I remember those times. And I was in some sense being brought to that moment, getting on my knees again and making sure that I'm crying out to Him because I can't do anything. And I want to remind you as an exhortation that you can't do anything unless God opens that door for you, that you are powerless that you have no control. And the only way you can really do anything that's good, that's pleasing to the Lord is when you are in total submission to Him, to have your mind, body, soul, spirit, everything in submission to Him so that He can dictate your moves. And so I've been hard, like really pre hard pressed to ask the Lord for what to do. Nothing I'm doing, right? Whether it is for a reason or whether it's fruitless, some of the things are kind of going chaotic, right? And I'm not attributing, attributing that completely to my fault or things that I'm doing wrong. There's some of that. But also, as we know in the Bible, before big blessings or when big blessings, blessings come, there is huge chaotic attacks, spiritual warfare. Satan does not want you to go through that open door. He does not want you to have what God is allotted to you. And so he will petition, just like in Job, to attack you so that you can falter, you can curse God, you can do these things, you can backpedal. But if you can stand strong through that, through that pers uh, persecution and persevere through it, then on the other side is great reward because God, he, he can see that you've been tested and that you've been able to pass those tests. And so this is what I want to do. I want to pass these tests. And also God wants to see what I'm made of, what kind of character I'm made of before he brings me to greener pastures. I've said before, I want to be stewarded with millions and millions of dollars, lots of money for kingdom purposes. I also would like a larger following. And of course, it's not about, you know, the numbers and things like that. But the more people that I can be impacted, the greater that I can 
uh, be used as a vessel to communicate and, and, and portray and to showcase who God is, who Christ is, and what is basically counteracting all of the negativity in the world, all of the false theology or uh, various things, and all of the perception of reality as it relates to truth and what's really going on in the world and, and behind the scenes and all these different things, right? So I want to be a vessel for that. But in order for me to be allotted more, God has to train my character. I can't just do, I can't do things from a spiritual perspective, obviously without God. But on the other hand, there is a part of having high standards. God has high standards for what He wants done, right? I've come from a very high standard background in in consulting and in work, certain corporate places. There's a high bar for analysis, for strategy, for analyzing things uh, like numbers, uh, making, you know, building things, what, whatever that is, there's a high standard. You can't just kind of like, you know, slop job it together and then like hope for the best. You have to have a high standard. And so uh, one thing that I want to ask your help on as a, lis- as a listener uh, is that I've been convicted not only in the business and just various other things, but to improve the quality of my videos and this channel. So I've been trying to do that with you know, the shorts version, Instagram and TikTok and the uh, YouTube shorts if you watch it there. But I also need to improve some of the video quality here. I've said before that I'm considering sponsorships. I'm, uh, I've said before that I'm considering, you know, trying to get other help and things like that. But I have two, you know, people that work for me and I'm trying to get some of them involved in some of the ed- editing and other processes. But I also have to do it myself. I have to work hard. I have to ideate better. I have to make sure that I'm also not uh, compromising by speaking not from my thoughts, but from the help and the dictation of the Lord and from the Holy Spirit. And so I, I don't want to compromise that, but I also want to increase the bar. And so there are certain things that I've analyzed. I'm a numbers person too, by trade, but I have been looking at analytics and just different things, studying it. I, this weekend, I've just been going really hard to try to like see industry best practices, marketing, uh, virality. And in some part, I feel like I'm being attacked or persecuted. There, there's something there, like obviously spiritual warfare, but some kind of shadow banning, some kind of like limitations on some of my accounts. I've been getting strikes, you know, over the years. I've been not in the best place from, you know, YouTube's standards. And of course, that's not the sta- same standards that are applied biblically. But because of that, I feel like there's something going on there. Yes, I'm not banned. Of course, by God's grace, I'm still posting and there's not you know, all of this other you know, problem, but there's still something going on. And so whether you want to say, I, I, I want to like fight that or it's a, like a hack, what I want to do is improve the ability for me to go more viral. And, what I, and again, it's not about the numbers and all that stuff, but there's also an issue where I know a lot of you guys that are watching, you've also reached out to me or you've commented saying that I haven't seen your videos in a while. You know, like recently a couple of videos went more viral, the Trump commander in chief and the Biden video. And it just uh, shocks me because I think a lot of people rely on the front page of the of the YouTube app to f- see my videos. And uh, if it doesn't come up on your for, for you page or in the homepage, then you won't be able to see it. And you will attribute that to thinking that I'm not posting. And that's not the case. Right. And so you can go to my actual channel, click on the videos and you can see it in chronological order. There's some that are live, there are some that are shorts, and there are some that are videos. And I know there's a, a good number of you guys that are in the you know older demographic, and I think maybe less tech savvy and things like that. So if you can, you can go to directly to my channel to view those videos. You don't have to rely on the homepage. But also, uh, if you can get notifications, there's a bell icon below my profile or even on this video. And if you click it and you subscribe, to all, all videos, all notifications, you will get a push notification for which when I post a video, you can, you can see it immediately, right away. And so the favor I want to ask for a lot of you guys that are watching is that as soon as I post a video and I want to try to commit to early afternoon so that I can get all of you guys in the, in the UK and in Europe. I know a lot of you guys are watching me from over there, but when I post at 6, 7, 8 p.m. Central Time in the U.S., I won't be able to get you guys until the next morning. And by that time, the momentum has died or YouTube, they're, the way that they work is they push out the video to the core people that watch it. 
if there's a high click-through rate, meaning that lots of people click on the video, they watch it, they view it all the way through, then it gets pushed out to more people. If that doesn't happen, then it doesn't go more viral. And so what I want to try to do is sort of hack, quote unquote, the system to make sure that everybody that's already watching, that you would be able to immediately watch it, it would just kind of shoot up and go through the system. It would push it out to more people. And then those that have been watching me, but maybe they don't know how to really navigate things, they're relying only on the front page, they could see it and then it would be pushed out more and more. And if you're able to watch it all the way through, and also if you're able to like the, the video, you know, the thumbs up icon, if you can like the video, and if you want to comment, even if it's like an amen, if it, even if it's a, you know, thank you, Chris, or something like that, I'll try to read those. I can't read all the comments, but if you can do that, that would help tremendously. And then it could just, you know, be pushed out more. I said, and I've, you know, been struggling, right, with a lot of things, but I feel like God, he's, he's preparing me for more, but he has to empty me, sort of like with Job, what happened with him. He has to empty me before he can move me forward. And I feel like this is the common occurrence across all of my sectors of life. He's removing me from certain things only to then possibly by his grace. Of course, I'm not going to say and speak for the Lord in that I know how much I'm getting, but that if I want certain prayers answered and my desires of impacting the world to bigger things, if that is to be had, I have to pass these tests. And for some of you that have been watching me for years, this is sort of that quote unquote low moment. I've been stripped of so many things. I have so much outgoing expensive expenses. I've poured out my savings into this business. I'm trying to pay the two workers. I have so many other bills. There are certain things that are taking higher priority. I don't know where the money's gonna come from. You know, I, I don't have a working quote unquote corporate job anymore. I've been going full all in on entrepreneurial content creation things. I'm also considering the sponsorships. And also, I've already agreed to some. And I know this sounds like a crazy thing because I've always left money on the table. I've always left deals and sponsorships for the sake of not wanting to, in my mind, like, I don't want to say contaminate, but to dilute some of the messaging, right? It's kind of weird if I speak like this and then all of a sudden I say, the, the spon this is sponsored by blah, 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 right? But there are certain videos that I have that are more documentary in nature and there's and it's split up so that it's easier for me to inject a, a sponsorship or a message from another company that can help not only me because you know they pay you know they pay right and then it helps you because it benefits you guys and also it helps the company because they could possibly get customers or services and so there are certain companies I've had so many reach out but there are certain companies that I feel like could match up and it really helps the cause, whether it's a Christian cause or whether it's a patriotic kind of cause, whether it's a cause for white hat type uh, things. And so you're going to see some of that come out. And I want to ask that you would support me really by uh, considering it. I'm not you know, saying that you've got to do it or obviously be led by the Lord. But these are things that are not just like, you know, I'm not going to come out with like some makeup brand company or something like that. It has to make sense. It has to be relevant. It has to be beneficial for myself for you guys and also uh, for the company because there are a lot of godly companies. There are, there are a lot of righteous companies. There are a lot of uh, people that are trying to work and make a living and we want to churn the economy in a sense. And so part of that uh, was one, was uh, involved that decision. So I want to say that in the future, you will see hopefully earlier videos and I want to ask for your help in clicking from liking, watching it all the way through, commenting if you can, and then it can be pushed out to more people. And then also once sponsorships and those things come, if you want to consider it, if you want to pray through it to see if you can support me in that. And I'm going to be very careful who I vet and what uh, is being, is being uh, broadcasted on, on this channel. There's that. And also pray for me as I go through just a tough time in various realms. This week, I'm finalizing a legal team for some very big uphill legal battles that I'm, I'm facing against big Goliaths. It's a David and Goliath for a moment for me. And I have some of the best you know, people that I'll have hopefully put together. And I can't say much more than that, but it's going to be very stressful. It's going to be a very draining process. And so just please pray for me there. Also financially, I also want to say, 
like it's an it, again it seems impossible but with god nothing is impossible and again i humbly also say that whatever god's plan is that's his plan but one thing i've been praying is lord please help me to reach my goal especially on gofundme to reach that seventy-seven thousand seven hundred dollars it's a random number but for me it's not because it's a golden number in a sense and i'm hoping to make that goal I feel bad asking all the time because I don't want to be milking people that don't have the money. Like don't give if, you know, please, if you don't have the money, but to those that have extra in surplus and are willing to give, I would love the support. And I'm hoping it would go more viral or somebody would come that has an abundance and they're, they're willing to invest in it or, you know, whatever it is and to give. So the link is below again, the GoFundMe, if you are willing and able to help me, that would help a lot. I'm, in a strong place spiritually in the sense that I'm seeking him. But again, if you're in the presence of the Lord, anything that you're going through, whatever fire you're going through, it'll be easier going through it with the Lord, holding his hand. I'm not here giving up. I know some people maybe have taken the last message of, uh, you know, I I wanna give up as being quite literal or as, and and of course I'm discouraged in, in many, in, in a humanly fleshly way, but at the same time, I'm not here to unalive myself. I'm not here to just call it quits and throw in the towel. I want to continue working hard. And I've taken this weekend, I've taken this week, really to analyze things, to uh, want to get better, to work harder, right? I'm incorporating, incorporating certain tools. AI, you see in the shorts videos, I have more images. Uh, it's, it's um, you know, there's ways that people are distracted and I want to engage people's attention more and just various things. So I want to do all of that and I want to do it better. I want to have higher standards for myself, for, for what I output. And I'm working on you know, how I speak, my word choice. Over the years, people haven't noticed, but I've gotten a bit better in how I present myself, how I say filler words, right? And how I just do all of this. And there are times for which I, I just am you know, open, honest, and you can see the flaws in it, but I've been working on this. And so this is where... I feel like God is continually training me, working in me, and preparing me for the future. I believe that big things are coming, and I'm hoping by His, by God's grace, right? If only you, you Lord, would want to do it, right? If He wants to do it, He could allow it to happen. But I have to do my part, and I want to ask that you would support me in this as well. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the donations already. For those of you, and I've only had like 400 some people. Uh, will publicly donate. I have have had people donate privately as well. And thank you for that. But I would love it if I can get the continual support if you've been blessed in any way over the years. And um, again, I'm not saying that this is the way that you can pay back or whatnot. But if, you, if, you, if you've been blessed through the videos, I would love it if financially you can support in that way. The other thing I would love to hear, and I almost forgot, forgot about this, is that I want to be encouraged in my faith so that it could increase my faith more by hearing from you in any testimony that you have a written testimony that you could comment in the comments below of examples for which God has given you guys a breakthrough especially if it was a financial breakthrough or any other breakthrough a miracle or something for which you trusted in the Lord you waited on the Lord and God delivered God promises right in Psalm like 37 that those that are righteous he will never let go hungry. He will, he will always protect. He will always cover you. He will lay out the steps before you. He will be there for you. And I know God, my God, our God is a big God and he's never going to forsake us. He's never going to leave us. But at the same time, as we go out, as we do our part, we have to, as uh, Christ says, be a shrewd or wise as serpents and innocent or harmless as doves. We have to be sharp We have to be smart about it. And this is where I want to get better at doing this. And so I want to work harder. I want to make sure I'm uh, very, uh, I redeem my time well. And I also want to advocate for myself more. I don't want to be wishy-washy. I don't want to be, you know, kind of, uh, you know, on the fence about stuff. I want to be bold and I want to ask. Joseph, when he was in prison, he asked uh, you know, after, uh, when he interpreted the baker and the cupbearer's dreams, right? He asked, uh, the cupbearer, when he goes out, that he, that he would uh, remember Joseph and he would speak favorably uh, to Pharaoh for his sake. 
And so he advocated for himself. He went out there and he said, please help me. Please uh, look at, look for me. And I want to do the same thing. I don't want to be wishy-washy. And maybe it's an encouragement for you too. Do not be wishy-washy. Let your yeses be yeses and your noes be noes. Go out there, advocate for yourself. Trying to get a job, trying to get an interview, trying to do whatever it is that you got to do. Be bold, be courageous, and go out there. And don't be afraid of the naysayers. Don't be afraid of the negativity. Don't be pessimistic. God, if it's His will, He will open that door for you. And I believe that for me as well. So I want to encourage you guys again. And please, if you can, watch these videos. I want to try to get it to you know as many people that can benefit from it as possible. But we have to be wise and shrewd about how to leverage the system, right? We have to operate within the system that is being presented to us. And it's a great system in some sense. It's, it's bad for many of us as believers because we get censored, we get shadow banned, but we can still hack it. And angels can be sent out. The Holy Spirit can work through and he could allow miracles to happen. And I want to get better at this. I love you guys. Please support me. Please pray for me. And, I'm more, and more is to come. Talk to you guys very soon.